So why waste time using a regular motor oil in your vehicle when you could go straight for the jet oil? Will jet oil improve performance? Does it actually perform better as far as film strength and does it flow better in the cold? Now today we'll be comparing Mobile's jet oil against their engine oil, the extended performance engine oil, which is a very good synthetic brand, running several tests just to see which one performs the best. Now obviously this is meant to be a fun video. Please don't use jet oil inside your vehicle because it could cause some significant issues. So let's get the testing underway and see how each of these performs. Well, I don't have an oil testing lab that allows me to test products using ASTM, SAE, or API testing standards. There are some oil properties that can easily be tested to compare oil performance. In the first test, we'll measure cold temperature oil flow. When an engine is cold, we want the oil flowing as soon as the engine is started. So let's place the oil in a freezer that's set to 15 below zero Fahrenheit and leave it in there for 24 hours. We'll come back to this test later in the video. Costing $9.47 per quart, the Mobile One Extended Performance is an advanced full synthetic oil that's guaranteed to provide 15,000 miles of protection. The Mobile One Extended Performance meets Dexos One certification and is also rated for SN+. Mobile One has their own rating system for their products and gives itself two stars for preventing breakdown and extending life, protecting against engine wear, combating sludge and deposits, and three stars for being able to protect in high engine temperatures. Before testing each oil in the lubricity tester, I'll calibrate the weight scale and then weigh each bearing. After the test, I'll clean the bearing with brake parts cleaner and weigh the bearings again. I'll measure the size of the scar in each bearing as well. While it's not possible for me to simulate engine operating conditions perfectly, the lubricity tester will provide us with some great information. I have a separate video that explains how the lubricity tester works, so please consider checking it out. You can't exactly buy oil that's designed for a jet engine at the auto parts store, so big thank you to Gabriel from Illinois for sending some to me. In case you're wondering, jet oil has a shelf life of 10 years. It was manufactured of March of 2018 and is good until March of 2028. Since API ratings don't apply to jet oil, let's take a quick look at the safety data sheet for the jet oil and compare it against the motor oil. Looking at the jet oil safety data sheet, the flash point for this oil is over 246 degrees Celsius or 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, the viscosity is 27.6 centistokes at 40 degrees Celsius or 5.1 centistokes at 100 degrees Celsius. The pour point is minus 74 degrees Fahrenheit. So this product performs very well at both temperature extremes. So the Mobile One Extended Performance Engine Oil, the flash point is 392 degrees Fahrenheit, and the viscosity is actually more than the jet engine oil. It's 57.2 centistokes at 40 degrees Celsius and 10.2 at 100 degrees Celsius. The pour point is minus 42 degrees Celsius or minus 44 degrees Fahrenheit. So this stuff doesn't handle the heat or the cold quite as well as the jet oil.
The Mobile One bearing is on the left and the Jet Oil is on the right. The Mobile One clearly did a lot better than the Jet Oil. The additive package used in regular motor oil is pretty impressive with the anti-wear additives that are used. I don't know anything about jet engine oil, but my guess is that it doesn't have nearly the same additive package to prevent wear. The oil has been in the freezer for 24 hours, so let's see how well they perform in the cold flow test. Wow, the jet oil seems to be unfazed by the cold temperature. Its pour point is minus 74 degrees Fahrenheit or 30 degrees lower than the motor oil. It beat the motor oil by over eight inches, which is very impressive. In the next test, we're gonna see just how well the jet oil can handle the heat compared to the motor oil. Before we start the test, I'll be weighing each coffee pot before the test, then adding approximately 200 grams of oil into each container. After the test, I'll weigh each container again to calculate the oil loss caused by the heat. If you want to protect your vehicle's engine and keep it running smoothly, you don't want an oil that's going to evaporate quickly. The appropriate test to measure evaporative loss is known as the NOAC volatility test, which exposes oil to 482 degrees Fahrenheit for one hour to simulate conditions in the area around the top piston rings of engines. Oil vaporization is bad. The more oil vaporizes, the thicker and heavier it becomes, contributing to poor oil circulation, reduced fuel economy, and increased oil consumption, wear, and emissions. Since I don't have this special piece of test equipment, I'm only going to heat the oil up to around 375 to 400 degrees for two hours. I'll be rotating the oil containers every five minutes just in case there are hot spots on the griddle. After the test, I'll weigh each container again to calculate the oil loss caused by the heat. Okay, it's been right at two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and take the oil products off of the griddle and allow them to cool. Once they've cooled, we'll go ahead and see how much oil evaporated. The oil is completely cooled off, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure each container to see how much weight was lost. Starting with the jet oil. 416.4, it started off at 416.92, so it lost 0.52, lost a half a gram. Very impressive. Look how clear that oil looks too. It does not look like it's been exposed to heat. It has stayed extremely clear. Okay, the Mobile One Synthetic Motor Oil. 405 on the muddy. It started off at 407, so it lost right at two grams. In the next test, we'll compare the flow of new oil to oil that's been exposed to heat. I'll go ahead and place the oil back in the freezer for 24 hours. It's been right at 24 hours, so let's get the testing underway. The new jet oil hit the slide first, narrowly beating the cooked jet oil. Both of them seem unfazed by the cold temperature exposure. As expected, the cooked oils for both motor oil and jet oil are flowing a little slower than the uncooked oil. The uncooked jet oil beat the cooked jet oil by less than an inch and beat the uncooked motor oil by over eight inches. The uncooked motor oil beat the cooked motor oil by around a half an inch, which is very impressive. Well, I'm really impressed with just how well the jet oil performed compared to the regular motor oil. Now, Mobile One Synthetic Motor Oil is a very good product, as we saw. It did very good on the lubricity test, beating the jet oil, but that's where the motor oil ended its superior performance. The jet oil did very good in the evaporative test, only losing a half a gram compared to around two grams for the motor oil. Now, when you consider just how low viscosity the jet oil is compared to the motor oil, that's very surprising and impressive. I really expected it to evaporate quite a bit more than it did. Also, the cold oil flow test was very impressive as well. It totally dominated the competition, beating the regular motor oil by quite a large margin. 
Anyway, I had a lot of fun doing this test. I just want to say thank you again to Gabriel for sending the oil. I also just want to say please do not use jet oil in your vehicle. It's definitely not designed for that. Also, I get all my ideas from you guys. If you recommend it, there's a good chance that I'll put together a video on it if I can. Just want to say thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.